All right, this is lesson 1.5 on page 44. So if you are not there yet, go ahead and pause the video and open up your book to page 44. Okay, this lesson is all about zero and negative exponents. So let's take a look at what this says. Any non-zero number to the zero power is one. Any non-zero number, so any, other, any number other than zero that has a value of one and any non-zero number to the negative n power is the multiplicative inverse of its nth power. So let's look at some examples. Five to the zero power equals one, and seven to the negative third power is the same as one-seventh times one-seventh times one-seventh, or one over seven cubed. So why is that? Let's take a look at why anything to the zero power is one, and then why, why you would get fractions with negative exponents. Let's take some um, powers of three. Okay, so we have three to the fourth, three cubed, three squared, three to the first, and we'll continue this in just a second. So let's write the value of these. Three to the fourth would be three times three times three times three, is 81. Three cubed would be three times three times three, which is 27. 3 squared would be 3 times 3 is 9, and then 3 to the first power is just 3. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening with these values. So we went from 81 to 27, so we actually divided by the base number, 3, divided by 3. And then from 27 to go to 9, we divided by 3 again. And then from 9 to 3, we divided by three. So when you are ascending in value in exponents, you're actually multiplying by one more three. Every time your exponent increases by one, you're multiplying by one more three. But when you're descending in exponents, when the exponents are going down, you're actually dividing by that. So let's say we have three to the zero. That would be the next um, pattern. So let's continue this pattern down here. If we take this value 3 and divide it by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So that's why any, this works for any number, any non-zero number, any number to the zero power will end up always being 1. And let's again, let's continue this pattern. So what if we had 3 to the negative 1 pattern? three to the negative one exponent. Okay, so now let's continue this pattern. Let's to take this value and divide by three. So one divided by three is one third. One divided by three, one third. And that is three to the one power down there, which is just one third. Okay, and let's try three to the negative two power. So one third three to the negative two power, which means I would have one over three times three, one over three times three, which would be one ninth, because we would be taking this and dividing by three again. And then three to the negative third power would be one over three times three times three, which would be one over 27. We would be taking one ninth and dividing by three and so on. So as you can see here, any number to the zero power will always end up being one. And then as you, as your exponents become negative, your answers will be the multiplicative inverse of your base, which would end up being fractions. It's division. Instead of multiplying, you would show repeated division. Okay, so let's try Let's just practice a couple of these. Let's try six to the negative third power. So because our exponent is negative, that means um, this is, I need to show multiplicative inverse, which is repeated division. So that means my answer is going to be a fraction. I'm gonna create a fraction by putting a one underneath it, and then I wanna write the reciprocal. This would be the same as one over six cubed, which would be the same as one over six times six times six, which is one over two sixteen.
okay? And it would be the same for a variable, a to the negative fifth. Okay, so because my exponent is negative, I have to write the reciprocal of this, so I'm gonna make it a fraction, and basically I'm gonna write the reciprocal or I'm gonna flip it. So one over a to the fifth power, and because I'm not, I, I don't know what a is, this would be my final answer. And how about if our base is negative? What if we had negative seven to the negative two power? Okay, so because our exponent is negative, it's okay, it's okay if this base is positive or negative, but because our exponent is negative, I need to write the reciprocal of this, one over negative seven squared, which equals one over negative seven times negative seven and that is the same as one over 49. Okay, now what if I have a problem like the examples on the bottom of page 44, these two examples where it says, write each fraction as an expression using a negative exponent other than negative one. So now we're given the fraction and they want us to write our answer using a negative exponent. So basically we're gonna write the reciprocal of this and we would get five to the negative two power because we ended up with a fraction. Remember negative exponents are fractions. Okay, so let's take this one. Well, first I need to um, think of what, how I can turn 36 into an exponent. So um, I know that this would be the same as one over six times six, which is the same as one over six squared. And so therefore, once I create this base with this exponent, then I know my answer is six to the negative two power. I wanna write it using a negative exponent. Okay, we will practice more tomorrow.